and welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today I have a really great video for you. But before that, you guys are probably asking, Drew, where are you filming right now? I am currently on a cruise ship. There is just a slight little hurricane outside right now, I think. I was gonna film this on the balcony and just share with you guys the beautiful ocean and like the cruise ship and such, but it's literally raining and so windy, so I'll share a clip of that with you guys if you wanna see that. See, a little rainy, um, a little windy. Oh, there's rain in the lens already. I swear this isn't how the ship normally is. This is the last day and we're just like going through like a little bit of a wet zone, I guess you could say. And we're just gonna flip that because today I'm doing some summer DIY projects for you guys. And these projects have a little bit more color than my typical DIY projects do. I wanted to have a couple of projects in this video that had a little bit more, you know, saturation, a little bit more summer, a little bit more fun. And some of you guys might, there's a slight chance, have seen some of these projects on my old channel. If you guys do not know, every now or then, not very often at all, I take videos from my old channel and I actually sort of rework them, redo them, new voiceover, new music, new everything, editing and I redo them and I put them on this channel but this video was one that didn't get a lot of views on my old channel and I took it down almost over three years ago so this video is probably new to a lot of you guys but if you have seen some of these projects before I do like to repurpose some of my older content just because it was on a separate channel and the content is still really really great and really amazing but there is one new project in this video as well and I've done two videos like this before and a lot of you guys really enjoyed the fact that I was repurposing content and so many of you guys have never seen the content before all the DIY content has been taken off of my main channel for about the past two years so a lot of the content is actually gonna be really fresh and fun for you guys to watch. And today we're doing some summer DIY projects. And if you've not already done this before, but you are subscribed, make sure to also click the bell next to the subscribe button because it's gonna notify you every time I upload brand new videos. And you guys are gonna to wanna to be notified for my next video because it is going to be the subscriber giveaway. So make sure to click that bell icon um, to get notified when I post brand new videos. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home. And you can also follow my personal Instagram account where I post more pictures of me um, at I'm Drew Scott, which I don't know why you're not gonna to wanna to see. So make sure to follow me on both but it's time to jump on into the project Jumping into the first project, I'm gonna be using a circular mirror and then some silver plastic spoons from the dollar store. So I'm flipping the mirror over and I'm gonna be breaking the spoon portion off of the handle of the spoon. So you're gonna have two different pieces, the handle and then the spoon top portion. And we're gonna be using both of these to create the mirror and kind of give it a very cool starburst effect. So I'm starting off with the handle portion and I'm gonna be gluing that to the bottom side of the mirror. And I'm also gonna use a magazine just to sort of align it to have the top portion, but you can use a ruler as well if you want to. And I also added a handle portion to the left and the right side that way I can evenly space them around and I think I added about four more mirror like sort of little spokes in between each section so I glued those down um, once they were all completely glued down you have this really nice starburst effect which can be seen right here this is kind of what it looked like in the end and then I also went in and used those spoon portions which are just like the actual spoon part of the spoon I guess you could say and I glued those in between each handle piece and uh, that just finishes it off it gives it like that nice starburst effect and you can glue these front side or back side depending on the look you're going for and just glue on a piece of string on the back to hang it up For this next project, I'm actually going to be using air dry clay, which can be found at Michael's or the kids section, like the kids crafting section. And I love this clay because of course it dries in the air. So what I'm starting off by doing is getting a big chunk of it and I'm just going to knead it into sort of like a pull knob. And as many of you guys know, Anthropology sells their pull knobs for anywhere from like eight to $30 on, depending on what the knob is made of and how it's constructed and blah, 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 but they are very expensive. So I wanted to show you how you can create your own, um, super affordable. You can probably create maybe... I would say 20 knobs for like $8. Um, so I created a circular shape, put a screw in there um, just to secure it in there. And I also created a diamond shape, which those are gonna be two different pull knobs. And then I'm also just gonna create a photo holder. Since I have the clay, I might as well just create something else as well. Um, so I'm creating this into almost like a thicker hamburger patty shape. I don't even know what you can call this. It's just like a very thick sort of cylindrical blob. And then I'm using a popsicle stick to create a sliver down the center, which is actually gonna be where your photo is gonna be hold. So that's that is going to be that and both of these pieces just have to dry overnight and then once they are completely dry I went in with a coating of this gold foil paint on one of the knobs so this is going to create a nice brass knob which looks so great on any sort of mid-century or wood tone furniture and then I painted the other one a pink color and I used some white paint to almost create a more tribal pattern I thought this one was very anthropology inspired um, and it has a lot of detail to it which I really like it kind of looks like a ceramic piece and all you have to do is screw these into your piece of furniture and you're good to go
Moving into project number three, we're actually going to be doing more of a technique. We're going to be creating sea glass, which I think looks so pretty and you can find it, but it's typically pretty expensive in stores. So what I'm doing is using some Elmer's glue and just some basic food coloring to create a sea glass technique. And I saw this on Pinterest and I wanted to put it to the test. So that is exactly what I did here. I mixed a little bit of Elmer's glue with some green and blue food coloring. I'm going to stir it up well with a popsicle stick. And then what you're going to be doing with this mixture is you're going to be painting it onto any glass surface. So I'm currently painting it on to this little sort of jar-esque vase and I'm giving it a good coating. You're going to want to make sure that it coats on there really nicely and honestly if there are a little bit of streaks do not worry because they're going to dry down and sort of flatten out as it dries in the drying process. So that's exactly what I did. I glued it all the way down and I'm doing another one as well. I'm doing a little bit of a darker blue color and I wanted this one to be a bit more opaque so I actually added some more food coloring to it and I painted it on my glass jar as well. Let it dry for about an hour um, and once it is completely dry it dries into this matte sea glass effect. Now we're gonna be creating more bohemian style coaster. And I think this coaster is probably my favorite one I've DIY'd before. So I'm using this sort of cotton cording that you could find in the quilting section at the craft store. I don't exactly know what it's used for, but I thought it would be perfect for a coaster. So I'm using a hot glue gun and I'm creating a spiral with it, as you can see here in the size of your typical coaster. And this is where the more intricate part comes in. I actually strung some beads on there. So these are a rose gold sort of coppery bead and I got a needle and thread and I actually laid this down in between the cord section and you're going to complete this process all the way around and once you are completely done with it it looks so expensive and very anthropology sort of bohemian inspired And last but not least, we are going to be creating a sort of 3D piece of wall art. And this one's really fun. I love the way that this one turned out. So what I started off by doing was using these little wooden dowels that I found at Michael's. They sort of already come pre-cut like this. And I'm actually going to be gluing them into little pyramids on top of a piece of parchment paper. And I suggest doing this on parchment paper because it's easier to build on top of it because the glue actually peels off really easily in the end. So you're just going to create a simple pyramid structure. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory or you can watch exactly what I am doing here. You just have to hold it into place as the glue dries and a little tip for you guys if, if you have some extra glue on the edges is to use the tip of your hot glue gun sort of to melt it down and reshape those edges as you can see here um, just to make it very clean and nice and then what I did was I actually painted half of them with kind of a salmon-y pink shade of paint and I also went in with some painters tape because I wanted to create a diagonal on my canvas so I used a large size canvas from the craft store and I painted one portion of that diagonal with that same exact salmon color paint that I painted the pyramids with peeled it off to reveal a nice clean diagonal line and then I glued down the pink pyramids on the pink side sort of to create a monochromatic but 3d effect on that side and then I also on the opposite side used just the wood I kind of wanted a little bit of contrast between the white but you could paint it white as well once you're done just paint over any glue spots and you are good to hang it on the wall And you guys made it through all of the projects. So those were my fun little summer DIY projects for you guys. I hope you enjoyed them and I hope that you can kind of recreate them or rework them to match your own personal space, whether it be to just change up the textures, change up the colors, spray paint things, color them, paint them, whatever you want to do to match your own personal space. Use your imagination and put these projects to work in your own space. But I think that the concepts and some of the projects in this video, especially like the glue trick and like the mirror, so fun. Like those are super affordable projects that you can really alter things with. So I really love the way that those turned out. And do not forget, you guys subscribe to my channel we are i think at 200,000 subscribers not sure yet we might be if we are you know leave a comment below let's just see if we get to it and if we're not then subscribe because we need to get there quick i'm just kidding we're gonna get there quick enough but definitely subscribe and make sure to click the little bell right next to the subscribe button and that will notify you when i post new videos because you're gonna want to be notified when i upload my next video so you guys can enter the 200,000 subscriber giveaway because it is going to be a really good one but i'm not going to keep you for much longer so make sure to subscribe follow me on instagram at lone fox home all my instagram and um social media is going to be linked below for you guys to take a look at and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day and and start decorating for summer because it's coming super soon which I'm so excited about and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.